We leave you tonight on a personal note. The Wood TV family lost a valued and beloved member of our team this weekend who spent 43 years at the station. His name was John Arguello. John A. was a photographer, an investigator, and an assignment manager. And while he wasn't a fixture in front of the camera, there was no mistaking his contributions behind it. A giant presence in the newsroom, both in physical stature and journalistic acumen, John Arguello wore many hats during his tenure at Wood TV 8. Hired as an 18-year-old in 1976 in the mailroom, he assimilated to a production assistant for Cowboy Buckberry's kid show. John eventually convinced news managers he had the skill set to join the News 8 team as a staff photographer. John took the role full-time as the golden age of broadcast news unfolded during the late 1970s and through the 1980s. John weathered through working with primitive technology into the advent of satellite trucks, ENG, videotape, field productions, even riding high in Chopper 8, where because the harness didn't fit his robust frame, he just held on with one arm and held the camera in the other. John's most enduring contributions to the West Michigan community came from his partnership with Target 8 investigator Henry Erb. West Michigan News' version of Batman and Robin with their undercover stings, parking lot confrontations, document deep dives, and a blizzard of FOIAs all celebrated during long nights in an unmarked blue Econoline van that had no heat or power steering, but may or may not have had a full cooler. Target 8 investigators rescued Alley and she... For all of the puppies that were rescued, there were the perps that he helped catch, including convincing a witness to come forward, leading to the arrest in the murder of a 16-year-old girl. In his last stint in the newsroom, John was working the nightside assignment desk. He loved to pull pranks. His giggle was unmistakable. His sarcasm knew no bounds. He suffered no fools. But behind that intimidating exterior was a gentle man who mentored young journalists. Ego checked anchors and always exhibited unmatched patience with viewers who would call the station with their questions, complaints, even learning to appreciate a good rainbow only because the assignment desk mailbox was jammed with viewer pick after viewer pick after viewer pick. To those of us who knew him, the lessons remain. Hey, ah! That large presence, now a large hole in our hearts, in our newsroom, and in anyone who values good, solid journalism. You were loved, John A. Ride easy, big man.